Hello everyone, you're welcome to Delaware Studios. I'll be taking you through on how to import an Android Eclipse project into the Android Studios. A uh, few years back, uh, the ADT has been the default uh, IDE for development of Android uh, applications. But at the time, Google came up with um, the Android Studios like two years back, and the Android Studios has been the, the major development environment for all Android applications and um, support has been done on the Android Studios right from the first version and up to where it sits now. So we have some projects that have been actually developed on Eclipse and they actually needed to be imported back to the Android Studio environment in order to continue development with it. So I have a project called the Dashboard that which was initially designed and developed using the ADT but I will actually want to um, want to import it to the Android Studios in order to take the full functionalities of the new IDE which was developed from Google and I have the project called Dashboard I have the asset, the bin, the gen, the rest, the source and the manifest well laid out so I will launch my Android Studios is already launched but I need to follow the, the 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 process step by step. I click on file. I close our project for me to have a fresh startup. So I click on import projects which is Eclipse ADT grade you to see. Once I click where the project is actually situated. So it should be situated in my um, my my desktop which I need to search for it. Okay, it's the dashboard. So this is the project. I click on my OK. So is is the wizard is telling me to import in a project, create a full copy of the project, and does not alter the original Eclipse project. That definitely is not going to alter it it's just going to make a copy like a like like a screen copy of everything and it's going to build it up in the android studio project so I click on my next so it's going to replace some jars with dependencies when when possible it's going to replace the library sources with dependency when possible and it's going to create a gradle star camera case module names where applicable click on my finish so it's going to the gradle is the gradle is the is the, is the new build um ng for all android projects in android studios so it's going to open my interface and the process eclipse android projects import summary so it's, it's actually ignored some files it has actually moved some files that there's a specification on how the file system has been handled in android studios the android manifest is still the same but it's actually placed in the app slash source slash main folder and the asset is also placed in the as the app slash the source the main and the asset folder which was not like that in the uh, in the edit the rest and the source were also placed in the appropriate folders we have the next steps which, which is actually telling us that you can now build the project fine that it has been imp imported fine and now you can build go ahead to build so the box find the box that has been fixed so i have to check my gradle console to set the build which has actually been built successfully it has been compiled and it has actually generated the APK. So for this is just how the uh, the import process you know, works. Now I would like to run it in order for me to see. But before I do that, let me just see how the file structures are. Let me expand some of the functionalities there. The, this is the Java classes where all the classes are. It's now in the com slash you know the reverse domain which you always have that's the idea of the application then the dashboard so we have all the java classes right there uh, in the rest we have all the the pictures the xml used for the graphic the layout with you know the layer the, the xml layouts of the application so with this this is fine there's no error whatsoever that pops up so I need to, to build it up and let's let's see how it's going to run. I click on my build. That's fine. So it builds successfully. I need to pick an emulator 
in order to 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 launch it and see it working so it's an emulator you know i have an emulator right there mm. ah, okay here we go yeah this is the application the application is actually having a sort of dashboard you know emulating the facebook images the likes the the messages the news feed the events the photos so fine you have your you have your application full running you know with this you can you can navigate within the app so this is fine this is just the general overview and the steps to follow in our uh, in a reporting and uh, an android eclipse project into the android studios and building it up to generate a, an apk thank you very much for listening